Hello, and welcome back to the Bot Spot. Today, we're going to continue our series on the Armor of God with the Helmet of Salvation. Now, the Armor of God is, of course, used in a metaphorical way. However, each one of the pieces is a true part of any Christian's life. So we will consider each of these as we continue on in this series. The fifth of which is to take the Helmet of Salvation found in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 16 and 17. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation. The importance of the helmet, in this case, is a protection of your head, your mind in a metaphorical sense. The helmet protects your head from attacks from all around so you can better focus on what lies ahead. So too the salvation if we let it. We could, as it is too easy to do, have our focus behind us in the lives we've lived prior, or to the sides or the distractions of this life. The helmet is only open forwards, which gives only one direction for you to look at it once. It suggests that we should always look forward. If we get distracted and look to one side or the other, our bodies typically follow, which could cause us to enter engagements that we could have avoided otherwise. And in such a battle, do we really want to make things harder than they typically are? The shield of faith protects us from attacks from all around, but the helmet of salvation, our logic and reasoning, are our second line of defense. We should keep our minds centered on God's word. Proverbs chapter 2 verses 6 through 8 read, For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity, guarding the paths of justice. And he preserves the way of his godly ones. Now, like any other piece of armor, you could lose your helmet if it's not well equipped and maintained. Or, as Ezekiel chapter 18 verses 24 through 26 state, But when a righteous man turns away from his righteousness and commits iniquity, and does according to all the abominations that the wicked man does, shall he live? All the righteousness which he has done shall not be remembered because of the unfaithfulness of which he is guilty, and the sin which he has committed, because of them he shall die. Now that's not to say that it's lost forever. You can regain your salvation, as James chapter 5 verses 19 through 20 read, Brethren, if any among you wanders from the truth, and someone turns him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from the error of his way will save a soul from death and cover a multitude of sins. But, as stated here, they have to want to turn back. We've discussed the five pieces of armor that are used for defensive means up to this point. Our next and final message in this series will be regarding the one offensive piece of equipment that we are to use in this spiritual warfare. Thank you very much for your attention.